Hey guys, welcome to another workout. This is part one of strength work for ultra marathon runners. Um, so the workout itself is 16 minutes long. You don't need anything for this workout except a chair. Obviously, if you're not an ultra marathon runner, you can still do this workout. It's a very specific runner's workout, just with a little twist um, to get your legs a bit stronger for longer distance running. So just before us, press the start button, I'll go through the first exercise, which is a very, very basic normal squat, but we're gonna hold the last 10 seconds of it. So we're pretty much just what we're gonna do is go back, sit, we're gonna do that for 30 seconds, and then last 10 seconds, we're gonna hold it nice and down together. All right, we're gonna start the workout in three, two, one. All right, let's go, let's do this together. So when I do the squat, I'll face forward so you can see, I'm pretty much thinking about feet underneath my shoulders and then sitting back, all right? All right, so just going up and down. All your weight is on the heels. I got another 10 seconds of this. So what we're trying to do is get the legs a little bit tired and then we're gonna get them stronger. All right, we're gonna hold this. So stay nice and low, fall back, we're gonna hold this for another five seconds. All the weight is falling back. All right, come up, shake your legs. All right, 20 seconds off, we're gonna do the same thing once again. So with those squats, I'll face this way this time. The main goal is just falling backwards. So you don't wanna be doing this. You wanna fall backwards, all the weight is on your heels so we can get the glutes stronger. All right, let's go. Down. So really focusing on all that weight being on your heels and you imagine there's a chair behind you and you're sitting down each time. So a lot of focus here on getting our glutes stronger because they're super, super important for runners. Got a couple more seconds here before we're gonna hold it together. All right, and we're gonna hold it. So all the weight falling backwards, you can see my toes are lifting off the ground, all the weight is really falling backwards. All right, well done, shake your legs. Next exercise, super, super basic calf raises. Exactly the same thing. Again, we're gonna do this for 30 seconds, and then the last 10 seconds, we're gonna hold this up. So for me, the main goal, as long as both toes are in line, you're on the right track. All right, let's go. So up and down, very, very basic, but very, very effective for runners. Exer strength exercises for runners don't have to be super special. They just have to be done on a consistent basis and they will really pay off. So please don't think that you're gonna do this workout and you're safe from injuries for the next six months. You need to come back and do this workout often. All right, we're gonna hold this up. How often, if you can do 15 minutes a day, that would be amazing. If you can do 15 minutes every second day, that's good as well. All right, check your legs 20 seconds off. They do exactly the same exercise. I'll face this way now. I'll face you forward. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna focus that my, both toes are in line. So it's not one foot is not in front of the other. Keep that level. We're gonna go in three seconds. All right, let's go up down, so really, really basic, getting up onto my heels. So you can see, you saw that in the first side, obviously front on, you don't see it, but I'm still going up onto my toes, heels off the ground and then down. Doing well, Got a couple more here before we're gonna hold at the top. All right, we're gonna hold it up the top, so Pretty much staying on my toes, really building that endurance in my legs. All right, shake your legs. I'm gonna use the chair for the next exercise. I'm gonna have both of my hands open onto the chair and all we're gonna go is mountain climbers, but in slow motion. So I'm really gonna get to the point where I'm lifting a lot higher than my comfort base. All right, let's go. 
So if this is your comfort base usually, you gotta go to here. It's gotta hurt a little bit. I'm really thinking about bringing my knees towards my chest, but I'm not going too quickly. So I'm trying to hold for one second at the top. Just breathing through that tension. You can see I'm losing my breath a little bit. Not an easy exercise. If you do it correctly, you really want to feel that last pinch right at the end. Catch your breath. 20 seconds. We're going to go again. So really focus on like, not just this just feels easy. That's what most people would do. You want to get to the point where you're coming up to here. That your core is really getting a good solid workout out of this exercise. We're going to go in three seconds. So get into position. Let's go. So you'll see I'm starting this exercise nice and slow. And as I get tired, I'm trying to rush through it. So you're hopefully at home, you're going at an even pace. Breathing through that tension. That's when it starts getting harder. So really focus on bringing that knee up to your chest. All right, well done. Next exercise, we're still gonna use the chair. All we're gonna do is we're gonna step up, come down at the side. So I'm gonna alternate legs. So for 40 seconds, going up and down, all right? We're gonna go in five seconds. All right, let's go. So make sure you alternate legs and your feet are straight so you don't open them up. It's a really simple exercise, but super effective. Here you do want to go a little bit quicker. I'm trying to build strength here. But that step up does already a lot for single legged strength. So when I do lift myself, I try not to lift from that back leg. I try and do all the work with the front leg, if that makes sense. 20 seconds off. So when I actually step up, I'm thinking about lifting with the leg that is on top. I'm not thinking about pushing with that back calf, okay? So we're gonna do this one again. Put that focus on lifting yourself up and not pushing up. All right, let's go. Nice and controlled, one side on each one, alternating sides. If you do have a higher chair at home, probably fits this workout better. Again, pulling yourself up, not pushing with the back leg. I know it's not much, but just changing that focus We'll get the glutes, quad, hamstrings stronger, not just the back calves. All right, well done. All right, we're gonna go back to the start. I'll leave the chair here. We're going back to the squat. So we're halfway through this exercise. I'm gonna face this way. Again, so 30 seconds non-stop going up and down. And then the last 10 seconds, we're really gonna hold it down. We're gonna go in three seconds. All right, let's go. Have your hands in front of you. That way you counterbalance that weight that's falling back. Legs are already starting to feel it a little bit. Did a longer run this morning. So the legs are feeling it a little bit. Our last 10 seconds here before we hold this. One more. All right, and let's hold this. So fall backwards. Really focusing on all that weight on your heels. Toes are almost off the ground. All right, well done. Check your legs, 20 seconds. We're gonna do it again. Whew. Take a deep breath, trying to bring that heart rate down. You're doing well. We're already over halfway there. We're gonna go again in five seconds. Let's do it together. All right, let's go. 
Uh, just imagine sitting back as low as you can. There's a chair behind you, sitting on it, getting up. But all that weight is behind you. It's all that weight is on the heels. We're really focusing on getting our glutes stronger. As runners, glutes are usually a little bit weaker because we don't use them correctly. We don't use them enough. So a lot of this focus is on the glutes. Let's hold this together. Hold, 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 hold. Getting the legs stronger. It's only 10 seconds. All right, come up, shake your legs. You're doing well. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, but with calf raises. So I'll go side on, facing this way. Take a deep breath. Basic calf raises. All right, let's go. Up, down, up, down. Very, very basic here. You can go a little bit quicker through them as long as you're in control. When both feet are on the ground, it's pretty safe to go a little bit quicker. Almost there. I'm gonna hold it in five more seconds. We're gonna stay up. All right, let's stay up. So we're just at this point right here. Heels are off the ground for 10 seconds. Last five seconds here. Whoa. All right, shake your legs once again, exactly the same thing. So very basic calf raises to get your feet stronger, get your Achilles stronger, get your ankle stronger. And then the last 10 seconds, we're just gonna hold that so we can develop that stability as well. We're gonna go in five seconds. Take a deep breath. All right, let's do it. Very basic exercise, but very, very effective for runners. So a question that does come a lot is when should you do those strength exercises, strength workouts? If you run in the morning, try and do them at night. If you run at night, try and do them in the morning if you can. All right, we're gonna hold this. So let's hold this up. Only 10 seconds of holding this up. You're doing really, really well. All right, shake your legs. Last two exercises. We got the mountain climbers that go outside your comfort zone. So we don't want this. This is nice and easy. I'd rather you do five or six really good ones where you're thinking about your knee coming onto your chest. We're gonna go in five seconds. So let's get into position. Don't go too quick. That's it. I'm not talking much during this exercise because this is a hard one if you do it correctly. Just breathing through that tension, focusing on knee towards your chin pretty much really feeling it if you do it do it correctly and not rushing through it all right 20 seconds off we got one more of them hopefully you are feeling it and i'm not the only one that feels it in my in my core but definitely when you start going outside that comfort zone when your whole core kind of really has to do a lot of work. And it does get a lot harder. All right, we're gonna go in three seconds. So let's get into position. All right, let's go. I need one more of them. No pain, no gain. Gotta hurt a little bit to get it stronger. Core is super, super important for runners. So we gotta make sure we do a little bit of core strength. I wanna build a strong core. A nice six pack is nice, but the main focus for runners is a strong core. All right, well done, 20 seconds, last exercise. Basic steps up, step ups on the chair. Really focusing when you do go up, that your foot faces forward, it does not open up. All right, take a deep breath. All right, let's go. So 
So alternating side, one on the right, one on the left. So here you can go a little bit quicker as long as you stay balanced and that foot faces forward and you're on the right track with this exercise. Almost there. Let's finish this workout strong. All right, 20 seconds off, last one. You're doing really, really well. 15 minutes gone. I got 40 seconds left on this workout. All right, take a deep breath. We're gonna go in five seconds. Last one. All right, let's go. So as I was saying before, if you can fit those strength workouts away from your runs, that's the best way to do it. If you are struggling on time, you can. It's better doing them after your run. So the strength work doesn't affect your running form. That's the main goal. So it's better off doing an easy strength workout after a run than doing it before so it doesn't affect your running form, which is the worst thing that could happen is if you do a strength workout, go running, and your running form is all over the place. All right, well done. Another workout in the bank. You should be proud of yourself. Make sure you come back and do this workout often and check out Bix Hydration in the description below. It does mean a lot to me, all your support with Bix. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.